Hi guys, in this video we will learn about the discovery of neutron and uh, its properties. I will show you the, the animated experimental setup of the experiment and its properties. So let's get started and uh, see. First, I will discuss a short history of discovery of neutron. It was Rutherford who predicted the presence of a neutral particle in atom. The prediction was made on the basis that some of the masses of the proton and electron could not account for the total mass of the atoms. When discovered first time, they were reported to be gamma radiations, but they had properties unlike gamma radiations. They reject protons. These radiations were not influenced by electric or magnetic field. William Chadwick did a detailed studies on the nature of these radiation and was awarded Nobel Prize for. New radi radiations were non-ionizing. Neutrons having energies of few electron volts are called slow neutrons, while the ones having energy of 1 to 2 uh, mega electron volt are called fast neutrons. These newly discovered radiations were later called as neutrons. Slow neutrons are very effective at breaking the nucleus of heavy elements. So let's see what happened. In this experimental setup here, you can see in the tea, polonium is kept in this cavity and it is enclosed by lead material. Lead is a heavy metal and which blocks the radiations from going out in every direction. That's why this end is open so that radiation could go in only one direction. When a beryllium material was kept in front of these radiations, this polonium is a source of alpha particles which is doubly positive charge. So it uh, uh, releases uh, alpha particles towards beryllium metal which is placed in front of it. So beryllium metal here you can see in this uh, equation beryllium metal when hit by alpha particle gets transformed into carbon 12 with the release of one neutron. So neutrons were being released and these neutrons were going towards detector but detector could not detect these radiations only because detector was designed only to detect radiations of um, either positive or negative charges. Anyway, these radiations were found to be highly penetrating radiations. And initially, these radiations were thought to be gamma radiations. Later on, the experimental setup was changed. <clears throat> now, a paraffin wax, which is a proton-rich material, was placed in front of beryllium before the detector. When alpha particles started emitting out of um, polonium material onto beryllium metal, again the same happened. Neutrons were released. Emission of neutron took place and these neutrons went on to hit the paraffinic material which is rich in protons. Since neutron and proton are of a comparable mass, it was possible that this neutron could eject protons from paraffinic material which is highly rich in protons. and uh, detector in front showed deflection which means some radiations were coming onto it but we already know that radiations coming from beryllium material were uh, charged less so how could we get radiations over here with the charges actually these protons were coming from paraffinic material so how could protons come from over here these protons were ejected out by neutrons coming from beryllium material and we already know that if these these radiations which come which were coming from beryllium were gamma rays they would not be able to eject protons from paraffinic material so it was established that the radiations coming from beryllium were neutrons and not gamma rays in this example you can see nuclear fission uh, from this polonium source emission of alpha particle is taking place and when these uh, alpha particles strike the beryllium metal or any other uh, heavy metal that is placed in front of it it could eject protons and these protons when hit the uranium metal here this uranium metal gets converted into two lighter nuclei with the release of three neutrons and these three neutrons go on to puncture more nuclei and as a result a chain reaction is started and when this chain reaction is not controlled it could result in a, a nuclear bomb explosion and when these radiations are close when these radiations are controlled by slowing them down then we can get electricity from them in nuclear reactor share like and subscribe thanks for watching